Hi, this is Darcia. I am uh, three weeks post rotator cuff surgery. And so I wear a sling on my dominant arm, which is my right arm, um, all the time. I never take it off. I uh, continue to watch. I'll show you what I do. I truly just use my left arm, my left hand, which is my non dominant arm, does make it tricky. It's not easy. Um, I do struggle. Uh, it doesn't come intuitively, but if you would like to see how I've done that and how I uh, fix the hair that I have right now, uh, do just keep watching. You will be able to see quickly the way that I am going to grow my hair. First, I put a heat shield on it after I've sectioned my hair and put half of it up. I comb it through and let it dry. I'm using a three quarters inch straightener on my hair. I love to use a straightener because I don't get burned nearly as easily. I section out my hair, kind of digging for the sections that I want to curl. And I'm going away from my face. That's the way I'm choosing to do it today. Sometimes I alternate curls, but today, I am going away from my face on both sides. They kind of meet up in the back and then they fluff at the end. I'm searching for each piece and making sure that they are all curled. Any other pieces that haven't been curled or ones that are sticking out, I curl. I'm twisting my hair every time I grab for a section because I think that it makes it easier to grab with the straightener. You can kind of see that I'm twisting my hair and then grabbing it with the straightener. I pull the straightener 180 degrees away from the hair that I've just grasped. This gives me the curl pattern that I'm looking for. You can see 180 degrees. If you want a tighter curl pattern, you would need to twist the barrel of the straightener even more than 180 degrees. You'll notice how I twist each section of hair before I curl it. It's something that I find to be very effective when I only have one hand to use. Check out the back of your hair. Make sure that you haven't missed any pieces. At this point, you can let down more of your hair and get ready to straighten the top parts of your hair. Again, these clips are just so helpful to hold your hair and to keep the sections away that you're not ready to curl yet. I'm still turning the barrel of the straightener away from my face, making sure that I've gotten all of the back pieces curled as well. Sometimes your hair does not curl well as you're uh, twisting it and uh, going through this process, if that happens, I would encourage you to check how much hair that you're putting into the straightener each time. Uh, usually it's either not hot enough or you have too much hair that you're trying to curl at one time. I'm parting my hair into the way it's going to be when it's all done, getting the last sections of hair curled. It is a challenge because I am sectioning and twisting my hair with my left hand, combing with my left hand, then I grab for my straightener, also with my left hand. So it's a lot of picking up and putting down. The entire time it took me to curl my hair today was 45 minutes from start to stop. I decided to speed it up for you guys. Hopefully you can still understand what I've done even though it's fast. This is the last little bits of hair to curl. And then when that's all done, just fluff your hair and kind of get it all fingered through, make the curls nice and messy. And then I will check it out, make sure that nothing has uh, been forgotten in the back. And then I will be ready to set it with hairspray. I held the bottle between my legs to take off the lid because I can't use two hands to take off the lid. Anyway, so I'm just going to uh, spritz down my flyaways. Anyway, this is how I do my hair with um, a straightener and a lot of these clips. These clips are 
great. But I just did it with that and then a, a mirror to look at the back of your hair. Uh, and then a uh, straightener is great. Uh, the straightener that I have, it's called Infinity Pro by Con Air. I think I got it at Walmart. Uh, thank you guys for watching my video. Uh, please subscribe to my channel and click like on this video. Let me know that you liked what you saw. So thank you so much for watching and I appreciate it and I appreciate you. And uh, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section if you have a question about anything um, or any technique. I uh, welcome it and I uh, will see you next time. Thank you.